was actually as an undergrad, we did a microbial ecology based project on a lake sediment core from Japan. Uh, and it was really applying that then to the human population. It got me fixed on what we now define as, as microbiome research. So my work now primarily focuses on the preterm infant and we try and understand how certain bacteria may predispose an infant to being healthier or push them towards a disease phenotype. The hope is that what we can develop either a biomarker which will help clinicians diagnose the disease because preterm infants may lose a particular species of bacteria or they may gain a species which we deem to be not beneficial and ultimately we can then if we have a biomarker we can apply that also to a therapeutic so it may be that certain microbes help the preterm infants and we can try and administer them in the form of probiotics um, to the infants. So the lab now is currently trying to isolate stem cells from tissue, so often we work with the preterm infants that undergo surgery and have bits of tissue resected. This tissue is necrotic because the disease that we're looking at is necrotizing enterocolitis. That can actually cause problems when we're trying to isolate viable stem cells from these samples to ultimately derive our enteroids for experimentation. We work with a range of sample types from swabs through to stool samples. Stool samples tend to be the easiest sample type to work with. The more challenging samples are things like um, the formalin fixed paraffin embedded tissue blocks. So at the moment we use a method that we've optimised which is um, treating with xylene to remove the wax and then we undergo the Kygen FFP extraction kit for DNA and we've actually found if we're doing 16S amplification that that works really well. The yield of DNA is really good and we perform all the necessary contaminant controls and we see that actually our microbiome profiles uh, are very strong and actually link very closely with what we expect to see and with what we see in the stool samples. I find the, the Kygen DNA isolation kits to really be fantastic as a researcher. Uh, they're, they're cost effective and they are easy to follow and we can do a a lot of samples in a, in a very short space of time and ultimately because we are dealing with a range of sample types there tends to be a kit for any particular sample type that we want to use it usually requires little to no optimization so we're able to go in and perform these experiments very quickly we have a wealth of data from very well characterized populations so human soils whatever that is i think we now need to take that data and really start to understand what the functional consequences of the presence of these different microbes is in whatever environment that we're interested in obviously for me that's the preterm gut the lab is trying to develop tools and techniques that allow us to start to interrogate exactly what particular microbes are doing in the preterm gut for that we're using enteroids but i really do feel that the next step in, in microbiome research is to really use animal or other ex vivo models that allow us to determine what potential mechanisms are to begin to understand how each strain or species of bacteria is interacting with the host and ultimately causing disease or helping the host be as healthy as it possibly can be. Kyogen. Sample to insight.